guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about whether that vegan teacher is racist. Um, definitely uh, comment down below and like this video if you like it, and I'll just get on with the video. <laughs> So if you don't know who the, that vegan teacher is, um, that vegan teacher is a, she's a TikTok star slash YouTuber who makes kind of silly TikTok videos, um, just kind of quite cringy, silly TikTok videos. Um, and she's been in a kind of recent controversy because she made a TikTok video where she was talking about black people reclaiming the N-word and she, in that video, used the N-word. Um, so that's what's happened recently. So I suppose the first question is whether I think that she's racist for using the N-word in a video about black people reclaiming the N-word. Now, I don't think that she's racist at all for doing that. I think that the way that she said it could have been um, done in a better way. She could have said, black people should reclaim the n-word and and spoke about you know black people reclaiming the n-word and why she thinks it's such a good idea um <laughs> i think i think that could have been an effective um way of actually putting the message across i think another effective way of putting the message across would be by um i don't know having a black person on her channel talking about how they reclaim the n-word um those would be much uh better and I would say more effective ways of trying to empower black people to reclaim the n-word. Um, so I don't think that it was racist in its... that that I don't think that video was racist in itself. I think that it could have been done much better. Um, however, what makes me uncomfortable about um, what she did, um, you know, making a video saying the N-word and, and saying black people should reclaim the N-word is I don't think that it was really about black people reclaiming the N-word. I honestly think that it was basically a way of um, trying to promote veganism. She was, I personally think, and I think to me this is as clear as day, um, <laughs> that she used the N-word in a video in order to... Um, stir up a controversy and get people talking about veganism. I think that that's what she was trying to do. Um, I think that that is really what her whole channel is about. Um, I mean, she had another, um, there's another recent controversy with her where she said um, that coming out as gay is, um, <laughs> is, is uh, selfish compared to coming out as vegan. She made another video where she said you should change your religion if, um, if your religion doesn't support veganism um and so i think her whole channel is surrounded around creating controversies in order to promote veganism in some way so in a follow-up video to the video where she said the n-word um she basically tried to explain herself on, on what her mentality was in making the video Okay, and she said that she made the video for two reasons. The first was the fact that she felt if black people reclaimed the N word, um, it would be, <laughs> I don't know, uh, basically it would be beneficial for black people to reclaim the N word. You know, she, she thinks that, that would be somehow beneficial. Um, the second uh, statement that she made was about freedom of speech and the fact that we shouldn't police language. So I will go over those in, um, like I'll go over the first one and then the second one because I think that's, I've got some different opinions on those. So in terms of reclaiming the N-word, um, I think that in that moment, if a black person reclaims the N-word, if they've called the N-word and they reclaim it and they say, you know, I'm not going to let that hurt me, I'm, I'm going to move a lot beyond it, um, you know, maybe that will help them in that moment um, overcome being called nasty names. However, I don't think that overcoming being called nasty names really helps racism, helps tackle racism in any way. Because if, let's say, in 50 years from now, the N-word was, <laughs> let's say, um, really nice looking black person, that's what it meant because black people reclaimed it and, and they... Um, 
they changed it into meaning really nice black person, let's say. Well, you're still going to have racist people because racism, it basically comes down to um, social identity theory. So this is this is the psychology of racism. So social identity theory suggests that people try to make their group seem good. So if you're white, you would make your group seem good. You would, you know, think about how great white people are and how great white culture is. And then you would also discriminate against black people. Um, and both of doing both of these things, both thinking about how great white people are and both discriminating against black people basically improves your self-esteem. Um, and that's what social identity theory is. And so you're not changing the fact that people gain self-esteem from putting others down. If you are, you know, changing you know, Negro to mean something else. Um, that's all that, you know, you're not tackling that issue of self-esteem. Um, and so, okay, you can reclaim a word, um, but it's not going to change the fact that there are racist people and people will just invent new words to call black people, which, you know, are just as racist or become just as racist. So in terms of um, policing of speech and policing of language, I completely 100% agree with her. I don't think that we should get rid of people off TikTok or Facebook or any other social media platform for using racist language because I honestly don't think that this is effective at convincing racists not to be racist anymore. Um, I think all that you do by getting rid of people off um, TikTok and YouTube that are using racist terminology is you basically move them towards um, other social media platforms um, where where they can just talk to other racists. So, um, for example, there are there are far right um, you know social media platforms. There are far far right. Um, you know chat rooms that they have and things like that and if you move them onto these sites where they can only talk to people that are like them then they become more and more and more racist they don't change their mind about their racist opinions they don't uh, stop saying the n-word they, they just end up being more racist and so i don't think that getting rid of people off social media for using racist language is a good idea because you're not tackling them being racist. You're actually making them enter a space of other people that just as racist as them and <laughs> that will encourage them to be more racist. So as my last point, I just have some concerns about how effective her activism is, how effective using N-word is in terms of activism. So, I know this might be a bit of a tangent for a lot of people, but my first concern is the fact that I'm worried that her using racist terminology will end up with people talking about her being racist, rather than people talking about veganism. And um, this is like a case in point with the following video. <laughs> Then Miss Katie officially lost her mind and decided to go on live and say the N word with the hard R right in front of everyone. So as we can see by this video, it's it's a video by Anna O. And basically in the, this video has a million views and it's all about how racist and homophobic and how um you know sexist and whatever the vegan teacher is. Um, like that's all the video is about it doesn't say anything about animal rights it doesn't say anything about you know male chicks being put in grinders it doesn't say anything about uh female cows having their young taken away from them it says nothing about that it's all about how <laughs> you know how racist the vegan teacher is and that's it um and that's my concern is that 
when you make videos using racist terminology, people will just latch onto the racist terminology and they'll make videos about how racist you are, not focusing on animal rights or what's happening to animals at all. So the second issue I have is in terms of tech sponsorship, basically. Um, I honestly think that what's going to end up happening with a vegan teacher is she's going to end up being taken off every single, you know, every single social, me social media platform. Um, and I find that very, very sad. And I'm, I'm kind of worried about that because I think that if she didn't use you know, the N word in her videos, um, then she could promote veganism quite well um, to quite a lot of people. However, I think if she keeps on down this road of um, saying the N word in her activism or um, saying, you know, being homosexual is more selfish than than coming out as homosexual is more selfish than coming out as vegan and stuff like that what's going to end up happening is she's going to be taken off every single social media platform and that's going to be it um and that's really sad because i think that she could do really good activism if she maybe toned herself down a little bit maybe just did cringy content without <laughs> without the um the kind of the controversial nature of her content um and so I think it's quite sad because I don't really want fellow activists to be taken off social media. And I think she probably will be taken off every platform if she continues down the road of saying offensive words or using offensive language in her activism. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe and like this video and comment down below if you like it. Bye, guys.